Well, uh, in 2014, early 2014, I was listening to the radio. Uh, I was driving home and I heard a man called Bernard Neary and his wife, Marie Neary, from Cabra, chatting about Madagascar. And uh, they spoke very passionately about the country and about the problems that face the country and about the beauty of the country. And they left a mobile number at the end of the uh, at the end of the interview so I rang it and we met up and we spoke about development issues and global inequality and Madagascar and everything and uh, we decided that we'd try and uh, head out and do a photo documentary on the dump of uh, the municipal dump uh, in Antananarivo the capital um, which Bernard and Marie were very uh, uh, familiar with. This picture is called The Conversation and it's again, it's at a stage of the gleaning where the frenzy of the initial um, search and for, for, for a product has finished and the girl here is taking a moment uh, to speak with her mother. Now I don't know what they're talking about but she doesn't look too happy and um, she looks dirty and tired and worn and you can see in her hands she's got the tool of the gleaner which is a paint roller and without the sponge so it's uh, your domestic paint roller which she can use instead of her hands to trawl through the rubbish and collect um, the material. You can see here beside her she's got a bag uh, and this, this is, is her takings for the day. Exactly, yeah. the Hessian bag is her takings for the day um, and these animals here, the dogs, there's actually four dogs uh, they look quite well actually, uh, well looked after, I suppose there's plenty of pickings in the dump. And, but you can see right back here, you've got people here, people way back here, about a quarter of a mile away, and you can see the smoke lifting off the dump. So you've got a whole scene, apocalyptic in a way, with the smoke and with the, the drama, um, but people just industrially, industriously working away and uh, making their living and getting by. But what I did notice was whenever you spoke about education, uh, something that's higher up the pyramid of needs, uh, the adults got very excited and they're very keen for their children to be, have, to be afforded the opportunity uh, of an education. And it's not all doom and gloom because there's plenty of organisations uh, working in Madagascar who provide just that. They will take a child from the dump and for 140 euros a year they will educate that child give the child clean uniform, food, knapsack, choice of uh, subjects, and they'll do their best to advance that child's prospects to have more choice in the future. Okay. This show has, it opened in July 2014 in City Hall in Dublin, and I've never had a show that's had such a reaction in terms of uh, people seem to react very strongly to what they, the conditions of the people they see working. Uh, and the visitors' books and the donation boxes, they all attest to that.